Hey there everybody, how you doing? I am Francis and welcome back to Quartz Party. Last episode, Ayumi got possessed but our hug was able to bring her back. We looked throughout the whole school, we couldn't find Miss Yoi, so now we have to head back to the classroom, so let's get going, shall we? Hopefully Ayumi's not going to have another episode and become possessed by some entity. That was kind of creepy, gotta be honest, like that smile. Oh boy, I can send a shiver down your spine. Oh! Ooh. Should I follow the spooky ghost? I'm gonna say before I follow the spooky ghost if you don't mind. Because I have a feeling this is gonna be bad, but. When have I ever not done something because it seems like a bad idea? You know me at these RPG games, I try and do everything. Giddy conversation and laughter can be heard wafting out from the infirmary. Oh boy. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh my! Does that one ghost have no head? Oh boy. Is that also one of our friends with them? Huh? <laughs> That's right. It's the same for me. I love my school. <laughs> Um, Suzumoto, get away! You need to run, quickly! And my homeroom teacher's the best. But I guess you feel the same way about yours too, huh? <laughs> I, I think she's lost her mind. Suzumoto, hey, snap out of it! Suzumoto, it's us, okay? Oh, hi. Shinozaki, Kishinuma, <laughs> can you stand? Come on, we're right here. No, I'm okay. Believe it or not, these really aren't bad kids. Really? They've been through some horrible experiences. Here, read this and you'll see what I mean. Um, okay. Could you tell your friends not to look at me though? I feel uneasy with a headless person looking at me. Heavenly Post Four Children Abducted Follow Up Report The brutal, shocking deaths of the recent kidnapped grade schoolers have now been traced back to the hands of the instructor found in the room with them. The scissors he held were confirmed to have been used to cut out the victims' tongues. Yeah, I read about that in the infirmary on that uh, notebook behind you, actually. Ultimately leading to death through excessive bleeding or choking. One of the victims even had the majority of her head slowly and methodically removed. Probably that friend of yours uh, to your right. This cranial mass was found on the floor next to her body. The heavenly host elementary students pictured here are the four who were found in the basement room. Of these children, one was... Uh, something. When investigators arrived at the scene of the crime, she was... Blood. A lot of blanks. Newspapers turn at this point. The bottom half of the article is missing. Cannot be read any further. Alright. Ah! These ghosts have the same faces and uniforms as the children in those photographs. The ghost that was chasing us from the first floor earlier is one of them too. Yeah, I don't think these uh, children can be trusted. I can't just ignore these poor souls. I'm going to stay with them. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's a good idea. I don't think that's a good idea, Suzumoto. You really need to get out of this room. I agree. <laughs> Suzumoto, you have to stop this. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't think they can be trusted. Like, no, nothing trustworthy can be that happy. That's a face very similar to the one Aomi was pulling when she got possessed. No, stop! Hey, hey, what's going on? I think, uh... Moto was her name? I forget what her name is, but she belongs to them now, apparently. Eek! Shinozaki! Please don't tell me you're going to get possessed again. 
damn it, what the hell did they do? Um, oh jeez. Come up, way. Okay, they're just gonna keep pushing me away. Run! Okay, I can't get, I can't get close to them. All right, can I go down this way? I can. Hi. Good. Okay, they're just uh, going to ignore me. Uh, okay, well, I guess there's uh, not much I can do about my friend. I'm just going to keep getting pushed away. So, I guess we'll just leave that and uh, get out of here. <laughs> I'm so cold. I feel like I'm freezing. We can't even touch her. Much less get her down. So, what the hell do we do? I don't know what we can do. Not much, honestly. Like, she belongs to them now. I don't know, but we have to do something. We have to! W whoa Your nose is bleeding. Huh? What? D don't tell me that, jeez. And you're so blunt about it, too. Well, how'd you want him to break the news to you? Uh, would you prefer I didn't say anything and just let it drip? I think she would probably actually... Hello? H hello who's there? Oh, hi! Oh, ho, ho. oh, those eyes. I do not trust those eyes. Um... Please don't hurt me! She, she's got eyes like a dead fish. You've only just arrived at the school, have you not? That's right. Were you brought here against your will too? I can't say I recognize your uniform. Yeah, you didn't come from our school. Actually, I died here quite a while ago. Then, how come you're not a ghost like the other people who died here? I came in search of someone. Very important to me, you see. Um... Your name wouldn't happen to be Maho, would it? It is. How do you know her, Yumi? Who's that? High school paranormalist, Maho Seinoki. I think she was on TV receiving some kind of award last year. She's an author, right? Yeah, she's also pretty well known for communicating with spirits and has a popular homepage with lots of information on paranormal studies and occult. And occultism. Of course you would know about her. You know, Aomi being the occultist in our in our circle of friends. I'm a big fan of yours, Miss Seinoki. I'm on your website all the time. That's very flattering. Though I'm afraid you won't be seeing any more updates from me. Well, yeah, if you're here and you're dead, I guess that makes sense. Your last posting was about the Sachiko Ever After charm. I've been wondering what happened to you since then. I never imagined it was anything like this though. Yeah, maybe you should have had us uh, play that game since uh, she hasn't posted anything uh, since uh, since that ritual and performing that ritual brought us here to, well, basically purgatory. I said right to get go this was going to be a bad idea. So listen to me, Aomi. Hey, uh, sorry to interrupt. But did you say you came here? In search of someone? Yes. So, you came here on your own volition. On purpose? There's a way to do that? That's not something I can talk about. I'm sorry. Why not? What? The greater concern right now is your friend. That's true, yeah. She's been claimed by the ghost children. That's right. Do you have any idea what we can do to save her? Before I die here, I searched high and low for any means of escape. In the process, I learned that these closed spaces were given the form of Heavenly Host Elementary School through the sorrow and agony of its victims. Victims of an incident that occurred 30 years before our time. Four children missing with broken bodies Later found this very building. Those children are the ones giving shape of this nexus. Or to this nexus, I mean. The four kids pictured in that newspaper article. Well, we've seen three of those kids. One of them tried to kill us uh, down below, and the other two are taking our friend hostage. Wonder where the fourth one is? 
Unfortunately, this place took its toll on me, and I died before I was able to make my escape. It's nice to know that uh, even though she's dead, she didn't turn to a vengeful spirit. I would like to know why. I, I still have a feeling I can't trust her. But the key seems to lie with those children. If they can be put to rest, there just might be a way out of here. Without all that sore and agony to sustain them, these closed spaces would start to break down. All this pointless suffering would come to an end, and we'd be released from this hell. That's my theory anyways. Well, it's the only theory we got right now, so... I guess we gotta find a way to put these kids to peace? Yeah, but put them to rest? How the hell do we do that? Give them closure, of course. What they lack is any remorse or regret from the one who killed them. The one who killed them? Are you saying? The murderer is here in this school. Yes. Oh, that's not good to know. Seriously? How are we supposed to get someone like that to express remorse? Where would we even begin? <laughs> You need to do whatever you can, and do it quickly. If you don't, those two spirits are going to hurt your friend. We will. We'll think of something. I guess the first order of business is actually finding the killer. Hey, hey, Shinozaki, hold up! I don't know much about you as an author or a paranormal researcher, but I'm going to take you on your word anyway. Right now, I'm just grateful for any lead at all. So, thanks. Yeah, thank you a lot. You were very helpful. Um, Aoi? <laughs> hey, are you alright? Wait a minute, I just thought of something. They said four children. We only met three. Is the fourth child the spirit that possessed Aoi? That's very possible, isn't it? E yeah, I'm okay. I thought I was going to throw up, but I didn't. She's acting normally, but I don't know. I think she's starting to snap under pressure. Shinozaki. I just hope she doesn't get possessed again. I don't really want to deal with that again. She needs to get out of the school. Or she could be in real trouble. Damn it, why is there no exit? Because we're in an enclosed space that is uh, basically taking the form of a very, very bad school. I'm going back here. I'm going to save. And then I have to find a way to save my friend from uh, those spirits. If I was a killer in this enclosed purgatory, where would I be? Um, our friend with the fish eyes is gone. Well, we got some good information from her, I guess. I really hate that scream coming down here. I really do. Oh, hi. I keep forgetting that you're wandering around down here. Um, I guess we'll just uh, look around our room and try and find something. Oh, hi. Huh? Wait, we can leave? The front entryway might as well be painted on. It's neither opening nor giving any hints that it will ever open. The lights came on though, so... Damn it, I knew it couldn't be this easy. Why won't you open? Because it's not really a door. Let us out, you worthless piece of... God, you're annoying, just shut up! Huh? Even if it did open, I'd be staying right where I am. Do you think I'm just going to abandon Miss Joy and all our friends and just run away? What's your problem? I never said that. You kind of implied that. Wuss. Coward. Delinquent. Now how about you shut the hell up? Truth hurts, doesn't it? Come on, let's just go. Wish I were with Mishita instead of you. Don't we all, but you can't have your way. Just be grateful you're here with somebody. Don't forget who it was that snapped you out of uh, possession. Okay, well, there we go, I guess. I still have to find the fifth one of those uh, notes, don't I? Like, I read one, two, three, and four. Hi! Would you please just leave me alone? Creepy ghost child? Evil spirit and 
an doll, I think that is? There's an old-fashioned festival doll lying on the ground here. It seems to be missing its head. Oh! A headless doll. Pick it up, sure. Thoughts begin to echo in your mind, seemingly from the doll. Somehow or another, it's found a way to communicate its soul desire. What the? I hear a voice. Give me back my head. So I have to find a head for this doll now? Okay. I hate you, sister. It hurts! Uh, that's a very angry spirit. I oughta leave it alone. Oh well, I gotta look around for a doll head and a killer, apparently. I don't know where the killer will be. I don't you know if I want to find a killer, because once I find them, then what? Oh, there's the final notes! Victim's Memoirs 5 of 5. Oh, I just saved, so I'll read it, sure. If you are reading this, allow me to forewarn you. There is no hope of rescue. There is nothing to be gained. Endless wandering and endless torture is the nature of this place. I succumb to my hunger and thirst. Begin nibbling on that corpse again. There is no flavor. No sensation. Just me and fluid to save my empty belly. I promised I would not desecrate your body anymore. But I broke that promise. Please forgive me. Oh, hi! Did I just eat my friend? Holy shit, that black over arena no one just ate my friend? Shinozaki? No. What did? What the hell was in my mouth? Tastes like blood, but yeah, I ate my friend. No, it can't be. Shinozaki! Shinozaki! This is definitely her. But why? Who the hell did this to you? Ah! Ah! Who was it? I'll make them pay. Huh? Shinozaki's Testament. It's a yellow school flyer, presumably taken off the wall somewhere along the way. A short message has been hastily scribbled in pen in the reverse side. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I'm going to be killed. I'm going to be eaten. He's chasing me, and I can't keep running. If anyone should find this paper... <sighs> I urge you, bring him to justice. <gasps> the one who killed me? For sustenance? My classmate. Kishinuma. Yep, I blacked out and ate her. Go. Oh. Yeah! Ha <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! Am I eating some more or am I being eaten now? Oh boy. Holy shit, I'm still trying to process in my mind what's ha what happened. So I read a note, I blacked out, I was chasing, uh... Ayumi, and I ended up eating her. Well, shit! Wrong end! Good, I'm glad I, uh... I'm glad I saved that candle before I did this. So there's no point going down that way. Not gonna read those papers, they're bad. Oh, hello, what's this? 
There's a seven head of old fashioned festival doll lying on the ground. I think that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, I'll pick it up. Thoughts begin to echo in your mind, seemingly from the doll. Somehow or another, it's found a way to communicate its soul desire. W what the? I hear a voice. Return my body. I have your body. Antique doll head. As the head and body of the antique doll are joined, it begins speaking more clearly and directly. With a high-pitched voice like that of a child, it slowly repeats several phrases in a cold, methodical, and almost robotic monotone. To have killed children so brutally, I was not in my right mind. I did not want them to die. I was scared too. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. So very sorry. I am actually a good person. I am so sorry. I am so sorry. So very sorry. Did this doll belong to the murderer? Doesn't it kind of piss you off like it's just playing around and saying what we want to hear? I am so sorry. I am so sorry. So very sorry. Yeah, it does seem a little bit sarcastic too. Like it's hard to it's hard to trust if the words of something in a monotone voice is being truthful to you. We don't need this thing. Wait! Don't you think it might count as repentance from the murderer? Well we better try it, cause it's really all we got right now to save our friend. I'll never forgive him, no matter what he says. Hello, ghost children. I want my I want my friend back. Suzumoto, Suzumoto. Can can I have my friend back? Open your eyes, please. Uh oh. I think we're gonna be taken with uh her wherever we're going. Haven't you ghosts done enough already? I don't know about everything that happened to you. And yeah, I get that it was really horrible. Well, yeah, one person's uh, been beheaded. I don't know what the deal with that girl, but I'm pretty sure what happened to her was terrible. But you're cursing and killing innocent people who had nothing to do with any of it. What the hell is that supposed to accomplish? Huh? Um, I think you just pissed her off. Like, look at the way she's looking at you. I think you should shut up. Stop, if you make them mad, they'll shut us out. Come on, you two. I have something you need to hear, okay? Just listen. Aomi held up the antique doll and let the children listen to the penitent spirit sealed within. Oh, I think it worked. They seem to have calmed down. The music's coming down at least. And that one child looks kind of upset. Me. Ha ha. <laughs> you can rest peacefully now, okay? You don't have to keep suffering. I think that did the trick. The horrible things that happened to you are all in the past. Your loved ones? Your parents are waiting for you. Go to them now. Yeah, be good children. Please, I know you can do it. Let go of that girl. Let go of Suzumoto. Yes, please give us our friend back. Uh-oh, that can't be good. That is not a good sound. No, stop! Um... That's not good. E? No! No! Yeah, that's right, her name is Mayu. Ooh. I think she's dead. Amy threw the antique doll on the ground in a fit of panic and frustration. Yeah, that thing didn't really help much, did it? <laughs> Is she? No. She can't be. I guess we're going to leave the doll. Uh, I'm going to go save. I know not much has happened yet, but I still feel right with saving. 
There we go. Where is everybody? Oh, hello. Uh, uh. Oh! Oh, shit! So that big splatter of uh, human bits was mayo? Oh, jeez. What? The hell? <laughs> this isn't. It could be, Suzu. Hey! Huh? Is she possessed again? Shinozaki, don't look. Come on, let's get away from here. I can't take this anymore! Ah, there she goes. Shinozaki! I'm... I'm really starting to lose it. Um, who the hell are you? Um, oh, you look friendly. You look positively friendly. Shino... He, he, he must be the murderer that that uh, girl with the weird eyes told us about. Slope. Oh, God, he looks like a Frankenstein monster. Shaloop. Shaloop. Should I start doing that and I say shaloop with every step I take? Oh, meanwhile... Miss Joy is still alive! What the hell? This woman's indestructible. Wh what? The shelf feels like it's gone and lighter. Are, are you... Sparing me? Ow! Oh! <sighs> so you're really, truly concerned about the safety of your students, are you? Of course I am. Did you doubt me? But you're just their instructor, no? You have no familial bond with any of them. You're not their mother. Or their family. But they're my children. What? I think I speak for every single one of us at Kisaragi Academy. When I say that we love our children, we care about them just as their parents do. Uh. Yeah, I think you were wrong about uh, what you said about uh, we instructors are all the same and don't give a damn about our students. Never underestimate a teacher. Biggest mistake you could make. Do... <laughs> now, answer me this. Your little rant earlier suggested that more of my students are here than the two I came with and the one I heard. Is it true? Were the artists brought here as well? It is. Numerous corporal entities joined us in these enclosed spaces. All at the same time. Counting you. I sense the arrival of nine people. Ah! Uh, oh, my right arm. It's definitely broken. And all this blood. All those cutting implements on a shelf must have done a number on my back. I wonder how long I was out for. Oh, a long time. A lot has happened in that time. I thought you were dead, honestly. Shinozaki and Kishinuma must be worried. I need to get back to the classroom. Um, yeah, about the classroom, uh, they're not there anymore. Naomi ran off somewhere, and... I forget that our guy's name, but... He was just, uh, knocked unconscious and taken by what looked like Frankenstein's monster. That spirit was trapped here, just like us. Succumbing to unbearable feelings of anger and hatred. One victim, drawn to harm another. It's not just people trapped in these spaces, but their sadness and torment as well. It's got nowhere to go, so it just hangs in these halls. We shouldn't be here. I have to get them all back home. Please, everybody, stay safe. Continued in Chapter 3. Wow, all right. Yeah, I'll save system data, sure.
Alright guys, and that's going to do it for today. Thank you everybody for joining me in Combat Course Party. Hope you guys are enjoying this, and I'll see you guys next time as we embark on Chapter 3. Thank you for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye everybody.